up you guys, Eddie Fliptronics. I'm going to be uh, talking about if iPhones can get viruses. So you guys, they absolutely can. The most common one's a Trojan um, app that would probably come from the App Store, a third-party app. And basically what it tries to do is collect information from you. Um, you know, just like account information for financial institutions and, you know, other, other kind of stuff. Um, so I guess the question really comes down to how do you know if uh, you have a virus, since that's obviously what you want to figure out. Um, one of the biggest things you guys you'll start to see is that your iPhone's starting to run slower. A good way to check um, if you have a virus is to just try to restore your iPhone as new on iTunes. Um, and then, you know, just save your data before you do that. And then, uh, you know, once you restore it, if you're still, you know, seeing... Um, some problems then you know there's a good chance that you have a virus or had a virus sometimes when you just restore it'll just go away uh, if you start to get ad pop-ups um, on your browser or just when you're playing an app or even just when you're using your phone every now and then that's a really common uh, sign that you've got a virus as well uh, trying to think of what else would what else you would see uh, typically, guys, I know, and it's hard too, but um, if you see just a combination of ads coming up for no reason, or maybe you downloaded a third-party app that wasn't from the App Store, you know, you got to be careful about that. And, uh, you know, a lot of the time those can have viruses too. But it's not even just those guys. It's not just third-party apps. Uh, apps in the App Store will also have uh, viruses on them because Apple can't honestly check every single app that comes out. So every now and then, you know, something will come around. So what you guys want to do if you think maybe your phone's got a virus on it is uh, just try to, um, you know, restore it as new on iTunes. I wouldn't even do a hard reset. I would just go straight to iTunes, restore it as new. And then, uh, you know, for future reference, you might want to get a security app like, uh, I think McCafe's got a good one that's free. <clears throat> You guys have probably heard of this one, uh, I mean, because they've pretty much been around for a long time on, uh, you know, desktop. So there it is, guys, uh, McAfee Enterprise. Uh, here's the second one right here. It's uh, mobile security, privacy, and everything. This is a good one to get, guys. So as soon as you um, get rid of the virus on your iPhone, uh, definitely install one of these kind of apps just to give yourself some extra protection. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Please stay tuned for more, and be sure to subscribe to our channel.